Hello everyone, this is meteorologist Xavier Hunter, and this is the tropical weather update for June 27, 2024. We got a couple things to watch in the traffic, including a system in the Caribbean, and then another system in the Central Atlantic that will be moving into the Caribbean in the next couple of days. So we got a good amount to talk about here, so let's go ahead and get started. So here's to look at the traps right now. The first system we're watching is this area in the Caribbean right here in the Western Caribbean that has a lot of deep convection right now. This will move into uh, the Yucatan Peninsula and then into Mexico over the next couple of days, which has a chance of developing into a tropical cyclone uh, before making landfall. But outside of that, heavy rainfall is likely for that area. Our next system, uh, by the way, that Western Caribbean system is Invest 94L. This next system here in the Central Atlantic is MFS 95L here. It has a great structure here. You can see uh, it's currently blowing up convection at the moment. And this system will, 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 will need to be watched, especially if you're in the Lesser Antilles, as this system will likely track over there in the next couple of days. It does a couple more waves to the wave behind it here. Some models have indicated can develop on this system as well. I won't go over it too much here, but this also has potential development. And then you also have a massive wave that's about to come off of Africa too. So for late Janoon, pretty active here in the tropics. So let's go ahead and talk about Invest 94L here. Um, I guess a lot of convection here on Invest 94L, but, not, uh, but all of it is currently disorganized and scattered around. There's not no central low pressure system. There is an upper level low to the north of the system right there that's put, putting shear in that system, which is preventing development. However, the system has slowed down, and with its spleen slowed down, that will have a, give it a chance to develop here, uh, develop over the next one or two couple of days here. We do have a recon plane going to this, into the system, I believe, tomorrow, which give us, will give us a better under a better understanding with this system. So, looking at the GFS model here, uh, if we take a look at Invest 94L here, that's in the Caribbean here. So, the system has slowed down a, a lot here, and that's going to have a chance for it to develop in the Utica Peninsula here, but uh, it'll likely be too late here, but the best chance of development will probably be the southwestern coast here, as you can see, it tries to amplify right before it moves to the, Mexi uh, the Mexico coast here. So, there is a chance for this development. Uh, the energy gives, I believe, a 30% chance of development. Uh, the euro is is similar on this system as well as well, uh, potentially amplifying for it makes landfall in Mexico. But outside of that, heavy rainfall is likely for this region, and some of that more should make it into southern Texas as well. And look at the assumptions here. We got two uh, some disagreement between the GFS and the euro model. The euro model is more active with the system because it keeps the system more north, giving it more time for the system to develop here. But the GFS model uh, is uh, it uh, keeps it suppressed down down to south, giving it a lesser and lesser amount of time for the system to develop here. So it's going to all depend on 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 uh, how strong the ridge is to the north of it, and how fast the system develops develops to. As a stronger system, I believe, will keep the system gives the, gives the system more time to slow it down, gives it more time for it to develop, but. If it's moving pretty quick, continues to move quickly without development, it will keep it down south here, uh, basically, basically ending its chances of development. So that was Invest 94L. This is Invest 95L looking in, in at the, located in the Central Atlantic, and this system bears watching. Uh, at the moment, it has really, really nice structure right at the, at the moment here. And you just saw this deep uh, plume of convection right near near this area of convection here. Near what we'll, we'll say is the center, not really develops yet the center, but it is well on its way. It has a really nice structure here. You got the ITC south of it, pumping moisture into the system, and you got a nice little northern band of shield right here, of convection here. It's dying out now, but it is putting out a nice shield of preventing dry air from going into the system. So, we're going to look at two models here. First, GFS model here. The GFS model has been very excited with the system. The system develops it by Friday, by tomorrow, actually, and strips it pretty quickly into a, a, actually a sizable hurricane, actually, as it approaches the Lester Antilles here. If this is cor 
correct, this will be quite rare territory having a system like this, uh, a system like this in late June, early July here. Um, as you can as you can see here, and there's there's definitely a chance there. There's definitely a chance that this could happen here. Here, um, however, there is small disagreement with with the system with what 95L does. As you see for the year, I, I used Pivotal Web because GFS wasn't working. Uh, the year wasn't working on TT, but it has it's a it's a little bit weaker compared to GFS. GF, uh, the year I put a little more share to the system, put some more into climatology, have a little bit more share in the system, preventing um, significant development. It still develops into a good, sizable tropical storm here by the time it reaches the Lesser Antilles on Monday. But it's not as strong as the GFS. The year was actually pretty, pretty aggressive yesterday, but it has backed down too, as, uh, as well as the ensemble. So we'll look at that there in a moment. So reasons for the strength of thing, um, it's again rare, pretty much rare territory for this system here. This this upper level well right here that usually sits on top of the Atlantic for most of the year is basically going to get dismantled, mantled, and move away from north north of us, move to the north here, and that's going to give away for this upper level uh, anti-cyclonic uh, uh, center. To go with the system, bringing less less wind shear into the system and venting outflow channels with the system. So, yeah, pretty rare chance. You don't usually see this in late late June, uh, late June, early July here. But that is what the models are showing. Both the GFS and the Euro ensembles are showing too. And because there's no shear going to the system. You have a good moisture plume in addition to having the IT, uh, the intertropical convergence zone down south here. You don't have shear putting dry air into the system right now. And as you can see here on this model, it, this, uh, sensor, this system has a lot of moisture to go with here with a lack of dry air. Now, as the time gets past the Lister Antilles into the Caribbean, as we'll see in, in a bit, uh, it looks like Klamatashi will most likely take hold for here and put more shear dry into the system, but uh, as you can see, uh, as you can see, it looks like it will definitely have some good amount of development as it gets into the lesser Antilles here. Looking for looking at the results for Infra 95 factor shows you how active how active uh, the models have been here. The Euro has slowed down its intensity a little bit, but it still has a good sizable tropical storm. Heading into the Lesser Antilles and actually continuing through through the um, uh, continuing through the Caribbean. As a, uh, some uh, Georgia is still a sizable hurricane as well. Same thing goes for GFS ensemble as well. Here shows the tropical uh, good uh, good agreement of storm heading to the Lesser Antilles as a good tropical storm and potential hurricane. But by the time it gets into the Caribbean, there's not a much, not a lot of ensembles, as you can see here, has it as intense as what some of the European models show here. You see the majority of these ensembles are, are, are above a thousand millibars here. So, um, still after, after it passes Lester and Tillis, it's still unknown on the track of the system or the intensity of the system. So, it's going to be something that we'll need to continue to watch for. Over the next several days, but folks in the lesser intelligence should stay heads up. I'll say, go ahead and start to prepare for a potential sizable tropical cyclone to get in, uh, to move into uh, into the islands by at least Monday. So that is the update here. Once again, we have Infest 94L here in the Caribbean with a lot of convection. Infest 95L here in the Central Atlantic that could become a potential threat to the Lesser Antilles. And then two other tropical waves here, one right behind 95L and another one about to leave Africa in the next uh, few days. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you do, like, uh, like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Um, stay safe. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. New video coming out on the tropics once again uh, tomorrow. Thank you for watching.